Hey guys, it's Kira. Well, we won't call this Kira Corner because um, story time. Back on a solo tip. Um, love my shirt. But yeah, um, I'm here to talk to you about my experience with Next Blue Line. It was a birth control that I took and I honestly got talked into it by my GYN. After I had my daughter five and a half, about to be five and a half years ago, after I had my daughter, my doctor had said, oh, I suggest that you get on birth control because you don't need to have any more children right now. Um, the easiest birth control that we like to give people that lasts for about three years, three to five years is next plan. And I'm like, really? I should get that? And he's like, yes, if you don't want to have any children right now, or I suggest you shouldn't have any more children, you should get it. So me being 27 really didn't take care of my mom, didn't even talk to anybody about it. I agreed to it. And because I didn't want to have any more children at the time, I said, yes, I'll get the next plan. Um, I had to sign for, you know, go through the process to get it done. So I had got it done. Like we were talking about this and I had got it done around after I had my daughter. And we had got it. I had took her to, the, to my GYN appointment with me and got it done while the nurse in the room kept my daughter attended. She was about a month old around this time. Not even a month old. She was about about four weeks. Uh, three weeks. Three, two to three. Two to three weeks around that time when I got the... um. That's when I, because she had her appointment and then I went over to mine. Mine was after hers. She had her doctor's appointment and then I went to mine because we, we were in the same building. Like her side, pediatrics and primary care was on one side and then the GYN is on the other. So I had went and got went to my appointment after hers and got it ready they prepped me and got it done and as me being the girl well being the person that i am i didn't question i didn't question it because i felt like okay the doctors but doctors knows best and no my doctor is not the color of my skin and he as you know he's a he so i really didn't question it he just threw that out there and as me i said okay well i'll i'll get it done you sound like you know what you're talking about so I got it done and months down the line I had my monthly and my monthly did not stop so I'm like well maybe this is normal my body probably getting used to the next one line now I had the next one line and this arm right here still got the scar as y'all can see and it was I could like I could feel it every time I bend my arm I could feel this stick it's like a little stick and you can feel it well I can feel it as me I can feel it in my arm and my nerves used to jump a lot in my arm where I had it and when when I decided to um when I got it my monthly didn't stop it was like First month, then stop. Second month, then stop. Third month, then stop. Fourth stop. Month, then month, then stop. And I continuously was buying lady pads, you know, menstrual pads. And it did not stop. It kept going and going and, and coming on. And it was like around the 10th month, I had realized it wasn't normal. My body is not, it's not normal. Any, I, any, thing like next for nine um the tea the tea ride that they put in you for birth control the pills anything it's a foreign object so your body does not know it and everybody thinks oh your body gotta get used to it some people body does not get used to it like others some people body reject it and that's what mine was doing it was rejecting the whole birth control process and my period had not stopped. It just stayed on and stayed on. It continuously stayed on every month on. And I was getting agitated. So I had called in for a doctor's appointment. I told him, like, I want it removed. 
my daughter was like 10 and a half months around that time. And he's like, no, you shouldn't get it removed. Just try to let the process work. It'll, it's just getting used to your body. I said, but for 10 months, my monthly has been on. I have been buying menstrual pads for 10 whole months. I'm not used to this. I mean, like, I'm thinking I'm doing something safe for me. But I wasn't even having intercourse at that time. Because I didn't feel safe to have intercourse with have have my daughter like no but why did i let a doctor choose a decision for me i don't know um at the time i didn't know i just thought i was doing the right thing well i went into the doctor's appointment they scheduled for the surgery so that i can get it removed of course my daughter was there with me again because i you know my mom single mom and when they, they had entertained her while they took it out when they did the surgery, when they did the surgery, I couldn't, they couldn't find it in my arm. They couldn't find it. They had two different surgeons in there trying to find the stick. Like, I could feel the stick. I could point to them where the stick is, but they couldn't get it out my arm. Like, it, they, when they reached down into it with the tools, they pushed it down even more. So, it was like, come on. Why can't you get this out of my arm? It was the, the longest process, a lot of blood, a lot of agitation for me. So when they broke it in half, one doctor broke it in half while it was still on my arm. The other doctor came in behind him, tried to pull it out. They pulled it out. They stitched me up. And I'm like, he's like, well... Since you didn't try this, this form of birth control didn't work for you. How about let's try another one? We have so many forms of birth control for you to try, Shakira. I'm like, no, I'm not doing birth control. I will be absent. I am not taking no more birth controls. Well, you should suggest, I, I suggest you to get another form of birth control and that'll work for you. You don't even got to try the pills. You don't even got to get the tea right. You don't even got to get any of that. I can um, give you the shot. I'm already overweight. I'm not getting no shot. One, the side effects gain weight. Two, you can lose your hair. And there's so many side effects with any birth control. And as for me, that was a no-go. I was not doing it. But he was still convincing me. And I'm like, no, I don't want it. He's like, but why? And I'm thinking to myself, you asking me these questions because I think you might get paid more money if I get a if I get, you know, the birth control. That was me in my head thinking. I wasn't thinking for it out loud. I wasn't gonna say it out loud, but that was me in my head. And when I got it done, when I finally took it out, my body was feeling real weird. Like my monthly went off within like a week of them taking it out. And I was so, I was in so much relief. I was in so much, I felt common because not only was me having a monthly continuously, I was going through, I believe I had postpartum. My hair was falling out a lot. Not only it was falling out a lot, it felt like it fell out a whole bunch. You know, you get shedding after you have a baby, but my hair fell out in clumps, big clumps, this big with that birth control so i'm like i had like bro like bad hair falling out but my experience with it was the worst experience ever i will never get any birth control ever again you can't talk me into getting anything i don't care from this point on i feel like if i'm going to have another child i'm supposed to have another child if not then well the oh well but for me, that birth control was not it. When my monthly went off a week after I had took it out, I said, okay, well, maybe my body is, uh, no foreign object should not be in my body, period. And I felt good. But every appointment I had with my GYN, he's like, oh, how do you, how do you feel about trying this one? It's another one coming out. How do you Think about trying this one. Stop trying to talk me into stuff because it ain't happening, dog. It's not happening. I mean, you nice and all, but it's not happening. It's not going to happen for me. My other side effect I had with it 
is still to this day the nerves in my arms jumps crazy and it feels like it's still in there but it's not like exactly where it is it's not you know it's not i know it's not in there but my nerves jump as if it is in this arm just continuously it's the baddest side effect you do not want that type of side effect at all um i'm not knocking anybody that got next for nine or look i'm just letting y'all know what my experience was with it and i honestly i wouldn't get no more birth control i have birth control i have a lot of birth control she's right here this is my look this is my birth control y'all <laughs> like but uh, she's a beautiful birth control and i love her she's worth she was worth having being a single mom it's worth it I, i'm not promoting that but being a mother to my daughter is worth it experiencing all of the pain and agony throughout my pregnancy the crying the depression it was worth it having my family in my back even when I didn't think nobody had my baby because he wasn't there, it's worth it. She, look at her. She's now five years old. And it's the best thing ever. I, I tell you, she's the best thing ever. And I know a lot of people might have a question, well, will you have another child? I don't know. When God, God's timing is only right. When I have another child, it's up to God. And I'm putting that all in his hands when I decided to have another one. She's five, about to be five and a half on Christmas Eve. So Lord only knows. Um, but honestly, my next benign experience was the worst. Any other birth control I would choose? No. No. It's not worth it. No. Any birth control is not worth it. It's not worth the extra, sometimes extra hormone, the facial hair or the chest hair, or it's not worth the, um, accidentally, you could still get pregnant on birth control, regardless of what the doctors say, you could still get pregnant on that nonsense. It's supposed to prevent you from pregnancy, but you could still get pregnant on it. Nobody will let you know that though. So my safest bet is to be abstinent. My safest bet is to not try for a child I mean, it's, for me, it's, that that's just common sense for me. Uh, you don't want a baby. Don't don't have. You better use a condom. You better um, use any other contraction besides. I feel, in my opinion, birth control, cause that ain't that ain't it. Do you not know? Like some people, I found some people that actually took the pill. You know, you ain't got no period when you're taking the pill for some people. Do you know where that blood goes? It travels to other places in your body and clot up. So, therefore, because it has no way to release itself. So, therefore, I feel, why? I don't, I don't need that. I don't need that health scare. I don't need that problem. I, I got a whole child here. What do I need with other situations going on in my body? Because I decided to put an outside formula man-made formula and me and this right here all the birth control i need i mean hey look look she, she's gorgeous i did a good job i really did she's gorgeous she's smart she's amazing she's very talented she's everything i could pray for and ask for from god um, and plus, I got a lot of nieces and nephews. I got like a good 28 to 30 nieces and nephews. I'm a aunt of many. Like, I have a lot of nieces and nephews, a lot of siblings. Um, certain vlogs, y'all meet them. I just don't tell y'all if it's my sister or not. But I do. I have a lot of siblings. I have a whole village. And this girl right here. If God blesses us with her with a sibling, she's going to be happy. She's going to be the greatest big sister, the greatest helper ever. But right now, it's not in, I don't think it's in the cards for us right now. It's, uh, well, it's up to God, but I don't know. I'm waiting for my mate first. And when my mate come, then maybe that's when the child will come. And so then he, and not only a mate, I need a mate that's going to be good for me. And good for her. That'll be a great positive for her. 
And I don't need nobody that has a wearing a mask. I need somebody that's genuine. So therefore, when that time comes, it'll happen. But right now, I am, I'm not, I don't need birth control. And I don't need to, you have it. For what? For what? For what? You don't need that outside man-made medicine in your body. But everybody else might have another opinion because that's their opinion. It works for them. It, they had no side effects. They did this. They did that. Yes, that's their choice. But I'm just talking about on my experience and my choice. No. That's a no-go. That's a no-go. Um, and it's, it's really, it's really sad when people put their, I, I don't even want to stop on, well, mothers, but then at the same time, I don't want to step on that topic because I have my child right here, but when she's not, I'll do another Kara's Corner, but when, um, all I can say is moms, don't put your daughters through what your parents put you through. Don't put your insecurities from your childhood onto your child. Because it's not okay. The baggage that you were carrying from when you were little, don't put that on them. Because they, they have nothing to uh, heal. Even if you got the child, heal. Go to, go to your parent or write in a journal. Heal. Speak, take, get, get a journal. Speak to your younger self. Tell them how you felt in those situations when you went into certain situations. And be that mentor to your to your younger self in that journal. But in all the time, please heal. Because these young girls that we raise them right now don't deserve what you went through. Don't put that on their shoulders because it's too heavy. It's entirely too heavy. Fix you. And stop yelling at them. And don't tell your young girl that she's not beautiful because she is gorgeous. She came from you. She is 100% gorgeous. Every little girl out there is 100% beautiful. Regardless of what anyone say or do or you're beautiful. Well, if you're a young girl watching this, you're beautiful. If you're a young woman watching this, you're beautiful. No matter your color, your whoever you are out there, you're beautiful. And all I can say is to tell them other people that's calling you names or anything of that nature, don't hate, don't hate me. Say don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Inside and out. Inside and out. Go in that mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful. Or go in that mirror and tell your younger self on that other side. They were always beautiful. But, um, if you got this far, if you made it this far, and if you are a mother out there and you have a daughter that's in her 20s or early 20s and 30s, tell them something that you wish someone told you in your early 20s or 30s. Pass on great vibes to your daughters. No, ne no negative nonsense because we have enough of that. But if you got here this far, I just want to say I hope God covers you. He can say you to bless you, hold you at his side. Um, Stay blessed, stay beautiful, stay positive. You got this. No matter what situation you want right now, things will change for you. You got this. Keep your head up. And, um... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell. Make sure it turns great. Make sure you get that vibrating symbol. And I'll see you in the next one. And thank you for watching Kara's Corner. This is my daughter's Kai. And what we're going to say, bye. Mm -hmm.